Good evening time, good afternoon time, good morning time, whatever the case may be in your part of the world, crisscross and wise. And uh, I know I promised you guys I was going to do a live stream of installing a Savaton 72150 in this Zion Cyber X. And I will still do that. Um, I just did a little filling around uh, this evening and... Uh, before you know it, next thing I know, I was uh, wiring stuff together. But I will redo it all over again, step by step, as it's not finalized. Uh, none of these connections are secured, soldered, and actually on connectors. I just basically, uh, you know, ran things and uh, pretty much jerry-rigged them up just to see uh, if everything was going to work correctly. Uh, I ran into the usual problems as always when you go across different platforms as far as switching out components. Uh, something about the Chinese, none of the brands stick to one solid uh, wiring color code, so it seems. You know, uh, what I'm talking about when it comes to motor phase wires. Uh, normally, it would be blue to blue, green to green, yellow to yellow. But, uh, like I said, when you switch controllers, motors, whatever, it seemed they all have their own color code. So, uh, obviously, this was no exception. Uh, it did not work blue to blue, yellow to yellow, green to green. So, uh, I had to play with those combinations until uh, I figured out the right one to get it working correctly. Not only that, same thing with the throttle. Uh, as you can see, those wires do not match up, but uh, I was able to determine what was what, figure it out, get it going. Uh, as you can see, I got the UKC sitting up there. Uh, set it up with nine different speeds. I'll just give you a brief uh, bump of the motor so you can see it's working. There it is, as you can see, not as loud as these bikes normally are, although it's a mid-drive, it's still loud because there's a chain on the secondary, although uh, these bikes are normally really, really loud because there's normally a chain on the primary, but Zion uh, recently upgraded it and uh, did some belts, or so it has a belt on a primary now, so it's not as loud and noisy as they normally are you know um still has that mid-drive sound but clearly not as bad as if that primary had a chain as well but anyway uh like i said tomorrow i will do a uh live stream i will disassemble all these connect well you know unhook it and uh, do it all over again, show you guys how you do that, if necessary. I mean, that may not really be necessary. Most of you guys know how to do the actual wiring. Um, I really just wanted to go over uh, setting up the, the MQCon app, uh, you know, as far as doing the hall sensor test, uh, the motor test and uh, also setting up the uh, phase amps and all that kind of stuff. Regen power, e-brake, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the settings in, in the phone app. So, yeah, maybe we can do some of that, which is what people, you know, mainly want to see. But, uh... You know, if you guys really need to see the wiring, uh, comment below and I'll do the wiring over again as well. But yeah, anyway, just a quick video short on that and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, take care. Crooked Franken Productions. Uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow I should be buttoning this thing back up, going for a test ride and... Uh, Make it do what it do. Catch you later. We out. Peace.